Had I have got to the hospital about two hours later, I would have died. In the end, there are pictures of me when I look at them and think, oh my God, it was pathetic. My organs were shutting down. My liver, kidneys, everything, they were going to have to put me on dialysis. They didn't think I was going to make it. But I just didn't recognize myself anymore. I was in a pretty dark place. How did an angry rapper from Detroit befriend Sir Elton John? Hello. Hello, you gorgeous thing. How are you? The pair first met at the 2001 Grammy Awards. Not only did their performance shock millions, it started a beautiful friendship. It turned out Eminem and Elton had more in common than either of them could expect. Both of them were bullied as children. I would change schools two, three times a year, and that was, that, that was probably the roughest part. I was very kind of chubby. I was very insecure. I thought anything's better than that. But for both boys, it was worse when they got home. Eminem's mother struggled with addiction and took her anger out on her son. And Elton suffered constant criticism from his own mother. You never knew what kind of person would walk through the back door after work. Um, which one is it going to be today? It did leave a scar and that scar took a long time to heal, and maybe it will never heal totally. With no other outlet, they both turned to music. But after his best friend's death in 2006, Eminem began falling off the rails, and a year later, his wife left him. Scared and alone, Eminem filled the void in his life with dangerous substances. I just want to take care of myself. I want to take care of my body. I was in a pretty dark place. But he was too ashamed to ask for help. You're struggling with the argument of, do you have a problem or do you not have a problem? Can you control it or can you not? The hip hop world that I live in, I think that it can be mistaken for weakness. And the last thing you want to do in hip hop is admit that you're weak. When Eminem suffered an almost fatal overdose, it was a wake up call. I had to admit that I had a problem. I had to be ready for myself. And he knew who to call for help. My biggest regret is taking drugs. You become unreasonable and you lose touch of reality. Now, almost 30 years sober, Elton knew the path to recovery wasn't easy. And, the, and for 16 years, I couldn't say, I need help. You know, that, mm -hmm. those three words which will save your life, I need help. And as soon as I said that, I was away and haven't looked back since. When I decided I wanted to get clean, I reached out to him because I knew that you know, he had went through a similar thing. So it was like, okay, you know, from one addict to another, I need some advice. And that's the guy you think of calling is Elton John? Well, yeah, because, you know, he's a celebrity and he's been through it. He gave me some pretty good advice. He uh, did? Um, I mean, yeah, we, I mean, I still talk to him a lot. Wow. For a while, it was like he was calling me every other day to check on me from wherever he was at. With Elton's help, Eminem got sober and turned his life around and celebrated 11 years of sobriety. Elton also inspired Eminem to pay his good fortune forward. The rapper created the Marshall Mathers Foundation dedicated to helping at-risk youth, while frequently donating to Elton's own AIDS foundation. We've been amazing friends ever since. He's an amazing guy, and um, I just adore him. Their story reminds us that the truest connections are formed when we look beneath the surface. And asking for help doesn't make you weak. It helps you remain strong. Life is full of pitfalls. If you don't communicate and you don't talk about things, then you're never gonna find a solution. It does get better, you know? It just, it does. If you're in pain and you're afraid to reach out because you think people will think you're weak or, or, you know, or you feel ashamed of asking for help, just swallow your pride. Your pride will kill you. Just ask for help. Love you so much. Speak to you soon, buddy. All right, Elton, love you too, man. Take care. I was the only white boy in the hood. It just wasn't normal to see a blonde-haired, blue-eyed white kid walking down 116th, rapping. Was Eminem a hero to you? Yeah, for sure. Eminem smash hit, Love the Way You Lie, starring Megan Fox, is tearing up the charts. I was the weirdo who was like, I'm gonna blow up and be a big famous rock star one day, you watch, and they were all like, do your math. Like, no, you're not.